In the end, you're still that same child I knew. Helpless. Like the night I killed your father. You want revenge? Show me. I'm in my school right now. I just give a class uh, oh. just before I uh, I, I, uh, I speak to you. So um, well, there is uh, um, some uh, the teapot that uh, um, my master or some friends offered to me. Some uh, some books, uh, picture of my master, uh, and uh, picture of my. Uh, I have three master. So picture of my stream masters and picture of um, the father of uh, my master too. Nice. This nice. kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. You All are right. in my office here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you call uh, you call it Wuguan, right? Your school. Yeah. Where you teach, it's called yeah. Wuguan. Am I saying it right? Wuguan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wuguan. This is in Mandarin, so um, it means. Um, so Wu means uh, martial techniques and uh, Guan it is like a, um, a place uh, you can uh, call uh, like each place uh, you just add what 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 is it for and uh, we, we say uh, yeah the place to learn uh, martial techniques in uh, Cantonese it is um, Mo Kun and uh, if you add uh, the, st the style name just uh, before, uh, it becomes uh, like Pak Mei, Pak Mei Kun. So you don't have to, to say uh, Wu uh, again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you understand what I, what, I, what I mean? Yeah, and this is Wu. This is uh, so martial techniques. And uh, this is... So... Pai Mei Chuan Guan. So it means um, the place to study, to, to learn Pak Mei. Okay. I guess. This is very yeah. fascinating. I love it. I love it. It's, yeah. It just seems like a symbol, like a, a, maybe one letter, but it actually uh, means a word and there's there's a whole meaning behind it. It's yeah, very, very beautiful language. I love it. How did your passion for Kung Fu start? When and how did it start? Um, well, this is a uh, uh, this is the story of my life. Show me. Six. Uh, I don't really know why uh, why I did uh, I did want to learn this after um, I mean at six then uh, you just want to learn martial arts because uh, you want to be strong you don't want to be belly uh, at school and uh, yeah and this kind of this kind of stuff and then you 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 like it I guess so yeah this is uh, this is my life. This is a thing I like to do, and uh, I like Chinese martial art because there is a, um, something deeper in it, something um, something to to reach, something to search, and something to that even the world evolves. There is a 
um, you know, we, ju- we need to eat food, we need to drink water, uh, and uh, we need to take care of, our, of ourselves. Like, um, the value doesn't change that much in the world. So um, I guess this is what, um, when I, I start to grow old, I, uh, I become uh, more inter- interested with. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it was mostly, um, spiritual, spiritual. You weren't like learning it because you wanted to be stronger. You wanted to fight people. You were learning it because it made you a better person spiritually. Um, this is really quick say, you know, in, in, in uh, right now we speak, it is just one sentence, uh, but, uh, it doesn't, uh, first I wanted to be strong and, uh, to be strong, you need to fight, you need to get into fight, you need to, to, to learn. Sometimes you, you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you, you're too proud, uh, too, you're too proud, sometimes you, you just fight for the wrong reason, this kind of stuff. When you're a child, you fight in the, in the courtyard, you know, this is, uh, <laughs> this is funny. Uh, you think it is a big deal, but this is funny. And when you're a teenager, you, you start to walk alone in the street and you, you face a different problems. This is different. So uh, the spiritual way, I, st- I think uh, I start to be interested in that in that part around 14 at the same at the same age i start to fight uh i mean at the same age i start to fight uh, in the street why did you choose to learn pak may what makes this style stand out from the rest um well i guess um you know in china you i i, I guess china, even even uh, japanese stuff you know you i was uh, tired about people who just um, invent story, you know, create stories, say uh, there is a master who teach me, he was old, he was like this, and uh, there is a big mystery behind this. And um, because everybody did this at one point in France. And um, and I was tired of this kind of, of stuff because when you, when you practice, you see gently moves and uh, you know, the guy with uh, who you practice is not as good as Jet Li for sure. And uh, he always uh, creates some stories that he wants you to believe in. And um, since I was uh, fighting a lot, you know, you you can say to uh, uh, people who don't know, um, you can lie to people who don't know too. But uh, people who know how to fight, you cannot say, okay, you grab a knife like this, you do this, like, okay. Um, you don't know how to fight. You just you just show people that you don't know how to fight. And um, I was searching for. I was tired of uh, Chinese uh, martial arts and uh, Japanese martial arts, who, who just uh, was made for the art of the co- competition. And I was searching. Uh, I was in a way certain that uh, there were more behind it. So I uh, I searched for something real, and uh, I had. This is big chance of my life to, to find it. Uh, I find this clan where, well, th- there are just uh, normal people who, when they don't know, they say, I don't know. Uh, when uh, <coughs> they uh, don't fight, they say, uh, I'm not the guy who fight. Ask this guy, this guy fight more than me. Uh, just uh, normal people who just say the truth and are not uh, uh, ashamed of who they are. And, uh, and uh, well, well, this was great because the pac is, um, is for real. This is real techniques, and um, and more than techniques, uh, this is um, um, because people used to think, you know, martial arts are just a bunch of techniques that you can put in your backpack, and uh, you study another stuff, another stuff, and at some point uh, you have this technique, this technique, like some tools. But uh, this is not about this. You need to 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 practice and to get like a kind of um, uh, essence, you know, of uh, what it is. And uh, if you don't get to that point, this is just uh, some movement that you don't uh, you don't know how to do, and um, you don't have the uh, how to uh, create this power in uh, in the movement. If you don't have the 
if you don't know how to create the power it's like uh, you don't know the recipe of the of, uh, of what you're cooking you know yeah. and uh and uh, i guess most of people don't get to that point so uh, i was lucky that i find this these people who, well who were, who were really impressive you know you see them and they're like uh, moving so fast and uh, they're born really hard um you they know how to fight they know stuff they know medicine they know a lot of stuff so um, yeah it was a blessing Um, how does learning Kung Fu affect one's uh, morality and humanity and what is the best age to start learning Kung Fu can be started at any age well best age it's when you want you know some people start at 6 some people start at 50 um, do you need to start when you want sometimes your parents want for you sometimes you don't really know what you want um so it's never too I late think this is not it's never too, it's of course at some point it's too late because your 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 body is not the same after after it is and at six but um, uh let, let's just say some guys start at six and they stop at ten you know so the goal is to master his technique the goal is to to know the recipe of course is to uh, know how to generate this power so if you just uh, come to the school twice a, a week uh, for 10 years at the end uh, are you good are you uh, a good practitioner or no uh, so um, for me the point is more this uh, it's more this about this uh, what did you achieve did you just went to the school and you went you you are on the picture uh, you know every year okay great but are you, uh, does this techniques uh, is inside you right now or it is just like, a, you know, a shirt that you can, everyone can buy or everyone, every everybody can come to my school and practice a little bit but, and never be good. So this, there is a big difference. I guess that's why we call it Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, everybody, everybody wants to learn, but uh, who master it for real? exactly so you must uh work hard and also have the talent um the, for me the talent is about uh, what you have uh, in your heart if you you already know if you will be good or not uh, not at something as a kid you 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 want to you want to draw you want to do stuff just uh, do you believe uh, enough in yourself to uh, just don't listen to others and go uh, go the way you want if you if you believe enough this is already talent you know because you it means you have feelings about something some uh, you have emotion about something and you just uh, go straight to yeah, to pass through this emotion and uh, give give the time uh, this uh, practice needs. If you think like this, you will be one of the best. So is it talent at the end? What other people call talent, I will say this is, uh, for me, this is abnegation. This is uh, different. When, uh, when other people uh, want to rest, I uh, don't want to rest because I didn't achieve my work yet. So this is not talent, this is just about... Uh, I cannot rest, rest till I, I didn't finish. a lot of sense yeah okay so how did slow clap 
um, approach you to work on Sifu and what was your main job on the project? So, uh, Slow Club uh, um, creative director and uh, one of the co-founders, Jordan Layani, uh, is one of my students. When I, um, my, I, I moved my school in 2016 to the center of Paris, uh, and uh, when I, I did the soft opening, he heard drums and came to uh, came to see what what was happening because he, he lived just nearby, and um, and uh, we met at that time. He started practicing. He was aware on Absolver at the time, and uh, and I guess he had a lot of uh, idea uh, already in his mind about uh, doing uh, doing something uh, on Kung Fu. And when they finish Absolver, he, he started speaking to me about making this uh, Kung Fu game. And um, they uh, bring me in uh, in two, so April, I guess April 2019, to make a workshop to explain what is crack pack made, just um, the basic stuff, the wood. Uh, there is a, a documentary video you can find on YouTube. I, at that time, it wasn't uh, released yet. Uh, even I, uh, I directed on. Uh, 2015 and i keep it for myself because it was for my students at, the, at first and uh, i showed them i showed this uh, documentary to them there was uh, they were moved by this and um, and the technique also and uh, and one year later they just uh, sent me the alpha trailer with some um, already some of my move inside so at, the, at that point we start to to to, to speak about um, uh, how uh, I will um, work with them and uh, which post. And um, the first idea was uh, to take all my move and um, and uh, I mean not all my move but uh, some moves and uh, uh, make them the main character moves. And um, so that's why they say uh, I inspire the main character movement because um, all what the char main character do it is uh, came from my movement. And um, since I was really involved, because uh, I have some idea myself, uh, I always come with a, a new idea, fresh idea, sometimes too much idea. <laughs> uh, they, they said, okay, well, that's great. So I became fight choreographer also, and, uh, and I make a consultant, uh, uh, yeah, like French free consultant, I would say a Kung Fu culture consultant. On this uh, on this project. Okay, and how did how long did you work on the game? About one year and a half, something like that. Maybe okay. um, yeah, approximately. Okay, and uh, this documentary that you talked about is it on your YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. Right. In French and in English. Yeah. I'll put the link in the description so everyone watches it. Um, yeah. Thank you. No worries. Have you played the game yourself? Do you play video yeah. games? Are you into playing? Uh, I play video games uh, for fun, but uh, I'm not a gamer. I mean, I just play uh, a few hours a week, you know, uh, like Red Dead Redemption or oh. FIFA, this kind of stuff. Nice, so nice. This is, uh, yeah. And uh, well, I played, uh, I played Sifu, of course. Uh, this is a great game. Uh, I love, um, it's difficult, I didn't finish it yet. <laughs> yes, very difficult, but it, it yeah. makes you want to keep trying and keep getting better, you know, it's not the kind of difficult that you say, oh, it's too hard, I'm going to put it away, I'm going to go play some other game. It's the kind of game that makes you want to be better at it, you know, and that's why yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So you just played it a bit and it's, are you still playing? Are you still trying to yeah, yeah i play i don't play every day but uh, I, play, I play yeah of course um uh, i want to finish it <laughs> did you like it was it something that you're proud of oh yeah i'm really proud of uh, i really uh, i'm really proud of this game um first of all i uh, i find it beautiful this yes. is um um for me this is like piece of art uh what they did because um 
um, you have some color, some um, they they make they made some choice on the artistic uh, direction that I I really I really love and um, and um, I feel like it is um, like an old kung fu movie uh, when you play. So this is um, this is not old. This is 2020, you know. But um, anyway, this is uh, it looks great. I love the the details in the characters and uh, I love them like them even even in Chinese culture, but even in um, you know the museum. I think it is a beautiful place. Uh, everything that. Uh, uh, I'm really impressed about uh, what they did. Like uh, there is a lot of um, change of atmosphere. You are there is really, there is there is really something about this game. So you can you can see there is a, there are artists in a way these, these guys. So yeah, I'm really proud to be part of this. And the kung fu look great. The fighting techniques look great. Uh, and um, yeah. And at the end, I guess what uh, what I'm the most proud of is uh, this is a game where you 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 fight, but um, you know at the end, even you kill everyone, your your master is not proud of you, yeah, because uh, you just uh, avenge him and uh, he didn't ask for it. So um, this is um, this is something to make a a point about value in a in a in a game today. People. Um, um, I guess, yeah, enter, enter, entertainment uh, should be uh, enlightened and uh, educated, you know. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's just uh, entertainment. And um, for me, it is important that there is more always, you know, like a message or, um, well, something that um, who, 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 who will make you think about uh, life and, uh, and stuff. And, exactly. Uh, yeah. I guess a lot of player will uh, will be surprised about the, about the end. Yeah, so, that's that's one. That's like the main reason I love the game because it seems so simple. It just seems like a, a beat 'em up game that you just uh, doing kung fu on a bunch of bad guys and you, then you kill him and then you kill the bad the main bad guy and then you're the champion and then it's over. It yeah. seems so simple, but when you get into it, there's so much details. Is uh, such a deep story that it, it makes you think uh, it helps you learn a lot about life and uh, especially Chinese philosophy and uh, Chinese way of life you know and that's what I love about yeah. it so um, you also did the motion capture for all the buses right uh, who was your yeah. favorite bus and why They are, they, are, they are all great in their own character, I think, because they all define um, um, like um, a different kind of movement. Uh, just Chiang is the same, just, um, yeah, it's the same than the main character. I guess, uh, of course, I Yang, sing, uh, because it, it is... Uh, I always like the bad, bad guys, you know, so yeah. uh, for me, Yang is, um, yeah, but this, if, this is too easy because this is the main, this is the main, like the main character. Yeah. So, uh, I guess uh, I really love the, um, I forgot how to say this uh, word in English, the, the uh, four boss, the, the one with no harm. Uh, Jin Feng, uh, the CEO, yeah, Jin Feng. because yeah, the CEO, because even she's not that hard to beat. I I love the way they they did the the movement of the the weapon. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Weapon. I forgot how to say this in English. The name of this weapon. The bell. Uh, it's a bell, right? This is not a bell. This is looks... they call it the. Um, Mass armor, armor something, the flying armor or something. This is a okay. great weapon. We can see this in a, in some Chinese movie. This is a great weapon, and it feels it feels real. I like the way they did it. Uh, it was really great. Even the guy with the, the staff, he's uh, strong. He's uh, difficult to win. 
and the movement of the staff you can see some slide you can see some really small details but uh, that they catch i don't i get uh, i guess some people don't catch this this kind of details but uh, well the dev uh, uh, made uh, something uh, amazing about this game that's for sure yeah it's yeah. awesome in any way it's it's just uh, i don't know it's flawless i can't find anything wrong with it that's how much i love this game <laughs> all right so um tell us about wuda please the ethical system taught in chinese martial arts how do you describe it well um this is difficult to describe because uh, <clears throat> in a way how um what's the manual to be a good man you know is there a manual to be a good man and um, I guess um, the the best um, the best way to describe Buddha is to is just to if you want to be a good man you just listen to your heart and you try to be every day so uh, is it to say good hi to other people? Is it to not revenge your someone you want to revenge? Is it to to revenge someone you want to to revenge? You know, um, it depends on what you have in your heart. So um, this um, it can be cheesy for some people, you know, to have uh, yeah, okay, yeah, this guy is bad, and this guy is good. And, this is not just about uh, being good and being bad. This is about uh, being right in a way, you know. So there's not just one kind of Buddha. It is there's different kinds for each person has their own Buddha and it depends on them what kind of Buddha they use. Is, is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. And sometimes being good, you know, uh, you think you are good, but you don't, you, you don't mean it, you know okay um and this is different to say something uh, the right uh, the right words but uh, if you don't mean it uh, at the end it it is the right words or no so um wuder is something personal wuder is about uh, it's not different from one to another it's just um <clears throat> the expression of it will be different because we are all kind of, uh, human or are different. That's all. There okay. is no not a book who can tell you uh, the, how how to be a good lover. You know how to be a good uh, father. There, is there a book to to do this? You know it depends of uh, what kind of human being you are and uh what possibility you have and uh, with who you are you are interacting with so wudu is kind of the same um this is easy to judge other people uh they didn't this is not wudu this is wudu this is uh, people who don't get it to speak like this wudu is just uh, you with yourself and uh trying to be a good man that's all that's great. I finally understood what it meant <laughs> because there's there's mm -hmm. so many different meanings. I googled it. I searched a lot about it, and there's so many different um, meanings. Every website is a different uh, interpretation of it, and it was just so hard to understand what it actually means. And you explained it perfectly. Thank you so much. Okay, what is the relation between the five constant virtues in Confucianis Confucianism and Kung Fu? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Kung Fu is Chinese, uh, Chinese martial arts. Um, first of all, we need to talk about so this character Wu, um, which is uh, martial techniques. Martial, um, Chinese people call Wu Su. Uh, it means uh, martial arts. This is the right words to use normally. And in um, since 1958, the um, Chinese uh, Republic uh, start to change uh, what wushu is to um, do some more athletic stuff. You know, like um, what 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 the Shaolin monks are doing. You know, um, this is uh, beautiful. This is uh, like gymnastic, but. Um, when they fight, they uh, do kickboxing, these guys. And uh, well, Kung Fu is not uh, kickboxing. 
Kung Fu is not Sanda. Kung Fu was, uh, you get in, you get out, you know? This is not, uh, I strike you in the leg because uh, it costs uh, three points. This is, I strike you uh, where I want, and uh, the, the goal is uh, you cannot walk after, <laughs> after it, you know? Uh, and uh, people think uh, this is uh, this is just world, but well, maybe they didn't, they never fight, you know? So, um, uh, well, this is uh, the, what Kung Fu is for me. And Kung Fu, this is a word they use in uh, Hong Kong and in uh, the Guangzhou area. Uh, because in Guangzhou, they, they speak Cantonese, right? And um, they, uh, they use the term to say train. They don't choose train. Like uh, yeah, me, I use practice. I prefer it. They use Lian Kung. It means uh, practice your kung fu, and uh, it means when you when you move, you need to practice your kung fu. Kung fu it means um, the way of the excellence. Like uh, some people would say, it means just um, uh, know how, so know how to do something. But it is more like uh, mastery, you know. So you can say your if you were chief, you know you know how to cook. Uh, no, you know how to cook. You are you are, you are great. You know you have kung fu of uh, cooking. You have kung fu of uh, uh, drawing. This kind of stuff you can say. But uh, usually, when it's just say kung fu, people understand this is about martial arts. So this is a goal. Pra practice is uh, with an objective, and the objective is kung fu. So uh, why? Uh, Confucianism is linked with um, Kung Fu. Well, it's just part of the culture, you know. Uh, so uh, Confucianism, Confucianism was created, I think, uh, five, I believe, five years, uh, five hundred years before Christ. And uh, uh, this is just, uh, you know, uh, histor a Chinese history, and you can find some references of Taoism too, and of uh, Buddhism too, inside uh, Chinese martial arts, you can find um, Islam um, a reference too, because there is some uh, some, uh, some place like in Xi'an, uh, where you have uh, some uh, mosque and where uh, Islam is really famous and really a lot of people believe in uh, Islam. So even they change, not they change, but the martial arts they practice um, there have some kind of um, uh, Islam culture inside it. Because, um, yeah, if you're French and you practice Chinese martial arts, in a way, you, you, you change a little bit. The, because I'm not Chinese, so for sure I change a little bit some, some stuff. Even I don't want to. Because this is the way it is, I guess. So yeah, uh, Pac Man is more about the Taoism anyway, being connect with uh, the elements and stuff. Taoism is more about uh, it, this is the kind of this kind of stuff, understanding human, understanding uh, uh, what we uh, human interact with, with like um, you know uh, the city when you are with uh, who you interact, this kind of the way you interact and uh, this kind of stuff. All right, a uh, short film inspired by Sifu called uh, Sifu yeah. the Revenge. Where can we watch this <laughs> film and how did you find this experience? cannot find this uh, this film yet because uh, I I just um, show it to some producer right now maybe the game will use it to promote um, um, I mean the slow clap will use it at some point maybe to promote the video game uh, or it will be I, I, don't, I don't really know what we will do with it right now uh, but um, people love it uh, that's for sure 
and uh, well, the experience was amazing because um, I never directed a movie before. I never, I never was an actor in a movie before, and I did, uh, I did, uh, I produced it too. Um, there is uh, 60 people involved. Um, there 60. is a great, uh, yeah, 60 people. We shot the, this movie in two days. It was, um, it was a lot of work. My team, we worked with my team like uh, three months to. Go to 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 rear us to to create the choreo and everything i had a great uh, um, dp it is a um, director of photography which is a uh, joan uh, leclerc botarelli and um, the um, yeah the lanes and the, he made something really beautiful about about this uh, this movie and the, the composer uh, is um Theodore Durin, the the music is also made by uh, by someone. So this is a great uh, great project. Uh, I was happy to to do it. I raised money by Kickstarter, and uh, I was followed by people. So they give uh, people give a lot of strength and help a lot to to um, to create that project in my head. And then, uh, well, it was a lot of work. I just, as as we as we were talking about, you know. Uh, I just uh, did everything that I can to make this something great, and uh, I guess uh, uh, it is. <laughs> I hope people will like it now. Okay, so you know how you said someone has to, you know, connect with kung fu in order to keep doing it. Uh, when we talked about yeah. talent and all that stuff, did you connect with making films in that way? Or yeah. Are you going to keep doing it? yeah i guess yeah nice I, so um, we can expect was, more uh, films coming from you um i don't know if i will direct again you know because uh there is a lot of uh, difference uh, between uh, directing a movie doing the career or in a movie doing uh, uh being an actor or training uh, um, some actor to get into a movie. I, I don't really know right now. Right now, which part I will uh, uh, I will do. Uh, but uh, for sure, I love to. Uh, I love the, every one of them. And the direct is um, is great because um, it's also part to just help as a director to um, uh, you help the director vision and uh, you want to to just uh, give him a hand in uh, uh, how to express what you want to express but directed is is about uh, this is you want to express something so i really i was really moved by the, that position this is um, really difficult at the, <clears throat> at the same time because you need to to know every details of your project uh, have an answer for everyone how know how to lead people uh, but um, at the same time yeah um, uh, I will be happy to to do it again with a project that moves me. Great. Okay, so there's a there's a line in the game. It's kind of hard to understand what it actually means. Uh, it says, "A day as a teacher, a lifetime as a father," and this is a Chinese yeah. proverb that's used in the game. Uh, what does it yeah. actually mean? <laughs> I think this is um, this is not a Chang Yu, but we 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 call this kind of sentence a Chang Yu, which means like a proverb. Yeah. Um, it means. Um, um it's about feeling um when you start practice uh, start practicing and becoming disciple this is not the same thing because uh, um in our clan you know china is big so i will not speak about every martial arts in china or every uh, school of kung fu in china i will just speak about our back right now um so you can practice First of all, my my master doesn't accept students, you know. So you, you can practice. It means one of their disciple teach you. But if you want to learn with a master, you need to become disciple. And this is not uh, you decide. 
if I want to be. <laughs> so at some point, this guy accepts you, and uh, in your heart, you need to have this feeling. But who can force you to have this feeling? So what does it mean? It means um, as soon as this guy accepts to you, and you are, he is your master, the feeling you need to have in your heart, it is like uh, he is a father to you. And uh, you, you can say, you can go to uh, ask everyone in the world, what, what's your father to you? Everyone has feeling, no? Even uh, you can have hate <laughs> for your father. You can have uh, every feeling, but everyone will have a feeling. But uh, of course, uh, we search, it means love. <laughs> There is another one, and this is a Chinese, we, it, yeah, we say, um, yi sing, yi sing, it is trust, the, the transmission of one heart to another. So, um, if I don't love you, I cannot teach you. If you don't love me, you cannot learn from me. Something like this. So this is a, the meeting of two, two souls. This is not just a, yeah, I have it. I give it to you or I send it to you. If if um, you don't have the heart, the, um, you, need, you need to connect in a way with your master. Like your wife, everyone can have kids, you know. We can uh, we can have sex with uh, with other women and make uh, kids. But um, love, yeah. this is not with everyone. You, this is a special connection. So this sentence speak about this. Uh, details about this connection this is um, a feeling you need to have and this is not ob an obligation to have but uh, this sentence just describe th these feelings about what what the master is because at the end you just uh, say master once you know why in this in your heart you you still have this feeling this is uh, uh, the mystery of this sentence <laughs> That was that was a great explanation. Thank you, thank you. You you explained everything so thoroughly, you know, and it, it, you made it so easy to understand. You went just like one sentence, and that's it. <laughs> you explained everything perfectly. Thank you, thank you for putting yeah. the time. You know. Thank you. Well, I'm okay. glad you you understand it. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I actually have a. I, I I don't live in Iran. My background is Iranian Persian, but I live in Sydney, Australia, and I have a lot of wow. uh, French friends here yeah okay. a lot of backpackers okay. french backpackers come here and i i work at yeah. a club i'm a security guard and we kind of you know okay. i meet them there and we befriend each other and they, i love french people they're really nice they're really nice and they drink a wow. lot too <laughs> <laughs> they drink a lot that's for sure yeah. and uh, but uh, i heard that the french people are not that people don't like the, them too much uh, in other country and uh, in, in Sydney, I uh, because I have some French people went went there. They go. They no, have some, uh, not some in my experience. Good experience yeah. Not in your experience. Well, well, because uh, yeah. I, I also studied um, a bit of French in high school, just one year. I don't yeah. remember much. I remember maybe some sentences, but it was a lot of people learning French there, and everyone was like fascinated with the language and you know the culture and everything. Uh, I'll, I just yeah. learned maybe a few sentences. Maybe je m'appelle Pouya. Um, <laughs> yeah. Merci beaucoup. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. I forgot everything else. But a lot of uh, words from French have come into uh, my mother tongue, Persian language. So uh, we share a lot of words. A lot of French words are in my language, and we use it on a daily basis. Like for example, we uh, for when we say ticket in Persian, we say bilit. You know, it's, okay. it's it, like um, canapé or i don't okay. know um if we see a knight you know the knights like with the armor and the horse and all that we call it yeah. chevalier i think they're similar Whoa. to french yeah it's persian new year in uh four days and yeah i would love to teach you how to say happy new year in persian okay. and then you'd say it yeah, and yeah. maybe in return you teach me some chinese and some uh it was in mandarin or cantonese that you speak mandarin is it I speak, yeah, Mandarin. Yeah. Mandarin and French. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you say Noruzetun Piruz. Noruzetun Piruz. Noruzetun Piruz. Noruzetun Piruz. Perfect. And um, <laughs> this is how you say uh, I love Kung Fu. You say 
من عاشق کنگفو هستم من آشیل عاشق کنگفو عاشق من عاشق کنگفو هستم پرفکت thank you <laughs> all right so uh, how do i say i love kung fu let's say i love kung fu in uh, mandarin and in french uh, j'aime j'aime le kung fu j'aime le français. j'aime le kung fu parfait euh voici quand kung fu voici quand kung fu ouais, c'est ça Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right. Shishie and merci beaucoup. Uh, merci beaucoup. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. So for thank your you. time, it means so much to me. You, you can't even believe it. It means so much. Thank you so much. And I hope I see you in more games and uh, maybe yeah. direct more movies. Maybe see you in the next jam week. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure they will do a five. You know, you know, they did uh, John Wick 4 in Paris, yeah. but uh, I, I was not in it. But uh, they, I, I'm not sure they will do uh, the, the fifth one. So, yeah, we'll see. But uh, I guess we will have, uh, I will be, I will do some uh, some stuff for sure. Um, well, let's stay, let's stay uh, connected and yes, uh, keep in touch. And, uh, well, thank you so much for all the questions. And I'm thank happy you, that uh, I can help your channel and uh, make a great interview. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you so much.